Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Caitlin Clark drops 22, but fever fall again to the Liberty remain winless. The results may be the same, but the loss was the most promising performance yet. Mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark finished 22 points on 9 of 17 shooting, 4 of 10 from the three. The most points and her most efficient game of a young pro career while adding eight assists, six turnovers. Yeah. I mean, six, excuse me, six rebounds, one steal, committing eight turnovers. She took a hard screen from Stewie, which nobody, nobody's surprised by that. But and see, this is what Dinah Tarasi was talking about. Right. It's because there, there's a learning curve. Everybody's mm -hmm. not coming in like Candace Parker and winning right. MVP as a rookie. Because, first of all, oh. she's not like. And they got to communicate that, man. Yeah, well, they, well that's what that, that, I, I ain't communicating shit. Oh, excuse me. The, your, guy, your guy better do that. That's yeah, your they, guy's they, responsibility. You got to know if the screen coming, just yell screen, screen, screen. Thank listen, you. Listen, Thank you know, you. you know the only reason it's the only reason I know now. And you know, because I the only reason I know that is because when we play on Pepper Park, which I'm doing tomorrow morning, them boys out there running plays. So if there's if somebody coming to pick and screen me, I got my dude, my homie, they, hey boy, Ocho, the screen coming, screen, screen, screen. Or they finna, man, they, they they let me know. So I'm like, yeah, I saw that early on Twitter. I'm like, Wait a minute! Why her teammates ain't yelling out "scream"? Hey, so then and then Twitter and Twitter told me, well, there's a reason she went first because the fever obviously aren't that good. But listen, communication is a part of any sport, any sport you true. play. You yeah. got to call it out and let your teammate know. Or she got to keep her. She got so many other things going on in her head. For one, people say you got to keep your head on the swivel. Yeah, okay. that's where you. Hey, on your right, on your right, coming on your right, on your right. Bingo! On your left, on that's your left, it. On your left. And, it, and it lets you know something is coming. Mm -hmm. Like, talk to me. <laughs> well, hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, next time that happens, I'm going to slap mm -hmm. it out of you. <laughs> Man. Because don't, don't, nothing, don't nothing hurt worse uh -huh. than when you walk into something unexpected. You and walk you into the wall. Coming. You walk into the door. Mm -hmm. You don't expect it. Hey, you walking back. Mm -hmm. Think about you walking on the street and you walking. It's yeah. like, damn. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me, let me, how about this one, though? Ain't nothing worse than being in the house. Yes. And you're going to the bathroom and you hit that pinky toe on the on the edge of the wall when you when you're trying to turn the corner. Woo. In the hotel room, I just get mad. I just want to tear that hotel room up. <laughs> I said, y'all don't even know how close I came to tearing this room up. <laughs> Cause oh, Joe, it be dark. You're not familiar. Like I can pretty much go to the bathroom in the dark yeah. in my own house because oh, I've yeah. made that trip oh, a thousand times. Yeah, you know your way around. But in yeah. the hotel. Man, Ocho, I ain't gonna eat a lot, Ocho. Man, I went to the bathroom the other night. Mm -hmm. I thought I was peeing in the toilet. I peed all over the floor. <laughs> I said, hey, Ocho, I said, I cleaned that up in the morning. <laughs> I went to bed. <laughs> hey, I, but here's the thing, because I remember the, I remember earlier, you know how they have the picture over the right. toilet? Right. Man, I done walked into the shower, thought that was the that was the picture. <laughs> I said, I get that in the morning. I'm sorry. Hey, hey see, no. that's why I believe it. That's why I believe the cleanup lady sixty to eighty dollars because I know. Hey, oh yeah, yeah I deliver yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah. bed. Hey man, that's why. That's why I like to go to the bathroom. Hey, you go downstairs. Mm -hmm. I stay upstairs or right. I go downstairs because Ocho in the middle of the night. I ain't trying to do no aiming. Right. You just yeah, just 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 in and out. Yeah, bro. I'm I'm you. trying to get sleep. Cause I ain't got to like turn the light. Cause you know, if you turn the light on, it's over for me. If I yeah. turn the light on, yeah, I ain't going back to sleep rest of the night. If it's oh. one o'clock, two o'clock, I'm oh, still up. Till oh, you up? Yeah, I'm up. Okay, I got. So, you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 housekeeping. I'm really sorry about that. But uh, that was that was that was Jordan. He was in room fourteen oh seven. His name was Jordan Barber. <laughs> <laughs> that was him. <laughs> That, that was him. So if y'all want to charge him a little extra for cleaning up his room, I, I ain't even mad at you guys. Uh I, yeah, oh Joe, she she uh, look, I think she's gonna be great. Yeah. I think there's a learning curve that comes along with this. It's just mm -hmm. like, I mean, there have been very I mean, there, there's some rookies. I mean, right. there's a learning curve for Kobe. Mm -hmm. There's a learning curve for a lot of guys. There are very few guys that come in that's ready to play like a seven, eight, 18 year old LeBron. Or right. like a 21-year-old Michael Jordan. Normally, there's learning curve for rookies. Mm -hmm. Or you get a guy like a Tim Duncan. 
Right. I mean, but Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan, guys like that, they don't grow on trees. Mm-hmm. Like, there have been one player in WNBA history that was rookie of the year and MVP. Her name was Candace Parker. Parker, yeah. Everybody know how great Candace Parker was. Mm-hmm. So to think that 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 Caitlin Clark was going to come in and just replicate that in the, what the 25, 26, 27 year history of the WNBA, this one won. Yeah, think about all the great players that come in after her: the Stewies, the Tarasis, the Maya Moores, mm-hmm. the uh, Simone Augustus. Mm-hmm. None of them did that. Yeah. And she's gonna get better as time goes. Yes, especially once no, she, she gets, absolutely once, gonna get once, better. Listen, and also once she gets acclimated to the game tempo, the speed of the, the game, game yes, the, yes. And when the game starts to become slow and it slows down for her, then we're going to see a replication of what she was doing at Iowa. How long that takes is all on her. You see the difference is she's had a lot of turnovers. See mm-hmm. the stuff that she could get away with in college. Oh, can't no. get away with oh, that. No, everybody's athletic at a little bit better, a little faster, athletically gifted. So you're not going to be able to get away most, most of that stuff you did did in college. Think about it, Ocho, how you could run an out route, be lazy with it. Mm-hmm. Be lazy with an out route in the NFL and see what happened to Shit. it. It's going that another way. That Deion Sanders on you. Yeah, it's, it's going another way. <laughs> he, hey, he's going to have the ball. Hey, okay. Yeah. You, be, you can't be lazy with no route. Mm-hmm. These guys are too, even the worst corner, you get lazy with a route. Yeah. Going another way. It's really simple. Offensive linemen, sometimes offensive linemen in college, they so much better. Oh, they just dominate them guys. Mm-hmm. Look at Tony Mandarich. He was dominating guys in college. Yeah. Boy, got, got to the NFL and couldn't block the sun out of his eyes. But, but it was good and terrible. <laughs> oh, show. And, <laughs> and when you that big, when you're an offensive lineman, right, and you that big, where are they gonna put you at, Ocho? See. If you're a defensive lineman, right, I can move you to the offense because you got a mentality. I right. can just teach you some technique. Mm-hmm. If you're an offensive lineman, you ain't gonna be nothing but a big ass equipment manager. Yeah, yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You could be six foot four, handing out towels yeah. and washing pants. But you in the way. That, that's it. You you that's in the it. way. Yeah. So it, it's a it's a different mindset from college to the NF to the NFL, whatever the level. There's Ocho, when we they hear us say there's levels to this, yes, yeah. You go to the Louis Vuitton store. There's some bags that's out. You can grab them. Mm-hmm. There's some bags in that glass case. You it's still the same Louis store. Yeah, but there's levels to this. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I, I uh, she's doing. Hey, she getting better. You see the first game. She got cut to cut down on some of those turnovers because the stuff that you were trying in college. These young, these women ain't gonna let you get away with that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not gonna happen, but congratulations, uh, Caitlin. Hey, we know you haven't uh, uh, won a game yet, but it's coming. It's coming. Oh yeah. Oh, they play again. Hold on, they play again on Monday night. Don't they? Don't they play the Connecticut Suns? Y'all need to get the Suns. Matter of fact, uh, Ash, Ash, right there by you. Yeah. Ask Ash when Atlanta, the Atlanta team play. I'm, I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going to Atlanta Sunday mm-hmm. for for three days. When is that? If they have a next home game, when their next home yeah, game? Atlanta Dream. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be in Atlanta. The dream player right now, Ash. When the next time they play after tonight? I, at home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at try, home. try to catch a game. The 21st, which is Tuesday. Oh, you gonna at be home? You, Bingo. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to them game. Me and Real, me and Real, we gonna, we gonna go to the game then. Oh, okay. Before we go on with a news cap, Ash uh, says y'all ordering up a storm and nightcap merch, so we really, really appreciate that. Make sure you use tonight's special code as long as we're on nightcap is on. Saturday 20 for additional 20% off. We've got 23,000 in the chat right now because hey. we love you so much. We're going to include a free nightcap mug with the next 10 orders. Oh, Ocho, damn. Hold on. Ocho, whoa, 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 whoa. About- whoa, come on, man. Hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time okay, out. Okay, what's up, Ocho? So how you going to allow the people to get a nightcap mug before I, I even got my own mug? And I'm part of the show, and I was begging for the mug. I, I, I think it might have been three weeks ago. I ain't got my goddamn mug yet. I tell you what I do. You I don't do even what? drink coffee the way I drink coffee. I'll be willing to swap you. I'll send you a case of nightcap mug if you send me the Webby. Nah, go ahead. You keep that mug. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that mug. You keep that mug. Hey, I, I got I got my wedding <laughs> up in the case. Uh-uh. No, sir. Oh, my bad. I thought Ash, 
you know what? Ash was out. Ash, Ash and I, we've been traveling. Right. Ash was in New York with me, so she right. hadn't had an opportunity to get that to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, what what about my other award behind you? Uh, you talking about the synopsis award? Yeah, I, I need I need that too. I need that synopsis. They say we'll start. Mm, it's not coming. <laughs> 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 it's all right. It's all right. That's all right. Man, Listen, we, say, we, 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 we gonna be at many more award shows. Yes, in the future, and I'm gonna make sure I'm leaving. I'm leaving with oh, my own my got, own award. We got uh we got the shorty awards, but we're not going to those. We got the shorty the shorty awards coming up Wednesday. Why are we not whole, going? Well, you can go. <laughs> well, tell, well, tell me to go because I'm 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 finna get my I'm finna huh? get my. Well, tell me where we'll to go. Tell, Vegas. Tell, it's in Vegas? No, I'll be in Vegas. Okay, you tell me where the shorty awards are. I'm going to go on behalf of both of us. Okay. <laughs> you, 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 okay. Yeah, I need uh, my, I need my award. Huh? Uh, okay. The next, so we're going to do, make sure, okay. We appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you're using tonight's special code, Saturday 20, for an additional 20% off. We got 23,000 people in the chat. Let's make sure y'all go hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because we love y'all. I mean, we really, really, truly love you guys and we appreciate the support that you've shown us since September. The next 10 orders will receive one of these, a nightcap coffee mug. Ocho don't even have them yet. So that's <laughs> right. You heard me. <laughs> the next 10 orders, not only do you get 20% off, you get a free coffee mug. Um, guys, we appreciate that. Also, Ocho, I don't know if you saw track and field today, but Sydney McLaughlin laid down a blistering time. She Damn. went 2207 in the Ooh. open 200. She beat some hey, uh Wait. Gabby Thomas. Yeah, Sid, yeah. Sid that added the 200 to a to a uh, she's working on she's working on speed work because you know uh uh, uh Fem Cabole, they've been hyping Fem Cabole in the 400. She right. said, I'm gonna oh, come yeah. back. Y'all oh, yeah. know who this is. Oh, yeah. I'm Sydney McLaughlin, yeah. McLaughlin, Lavroni. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think she married a good friend of mine, Kevin Lavroni. He was okay. a professional bodybuilder. I think that's his nephew. Okay. Look here. Y'all need to stop. I'm one of the most versatile women in the history of track and field. Oh, yeah. Now, Sharika Jackson can yeah. make a case to that because Sharika Jackson has won medals at the 400, the 200, right. and the 100. Mm -hmm. But Sydney yeah. got, a gold, got a gold medal at the Olympics. She got the silver medal, if I'm not mistaken, in the Open Four. Uh, and so could she win? She went 2207. And she and and she she came off the turn. It was a wrap. It wasn't a hey, Abby Steiner was in that race. We know Abby Steiner, who's run, who's run, I think, 21 8. Uh -huh. uh, 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 Gabby Thomas has won 21 65, and she blew the doors off him. So Man, I, I can I, I, would I, I be know. surprised? I would I wouldn't be surprised if Gabby, if the uh, uh Sid went sub 50 mm. in the full in the, hurdles. In the full? Ooh. She Listen, might I be know. the only woman. She right now. <sighs> Mat uh, uh, Matarina Coke, world record of 4760 in the open mm. four. There have only been two women to right. ever go sub 48 in the 400. Right. There's a check. She has the world record in the 800 meters. She went 4799. Mm -hmm. Matarina Coke uh, went 4760. Mm. I think Sid has the ability to go sub 48. Yeah, most definitely. Listen, I didn't even know Sid had the foot speed. I know she had the strength for the 400. She had the strength for the eight. And her kick is un unbelievable. Yeah. 400, 400 hurdles. You know how strong you got to be? You know oh, how yeah, strong you, you yeah, got to be for that 400 that. hurdles? Huh? And, and, hey, fact, and my guy, nephew, Rob Benjamin, congratulations oh, okay. on you. Hey, world leading time, 46.64. And what? In the 400. He just went, Allison Dos Santos went 46.86 yeah. last week. He okay. dropped it down to 46.64. Now, mm -hmm. we haven't seen the Viking run. The Norwegian, Karsten Warholm, mm -hmm. he's the only man that goes sub 46 in the full hurdles. And when we thought, I remember when uh, um, Young, Kevin Young, uh -huh. in, in 92, right. he went 46.76. I was like, man, and it took him what ninety two, so it took him about twenty two, twenty about twenty two years, twenty one years to go that. He took it even further. So 
Could I we possibly see another world record right. with the way uh, Dos Santos is running, the mm-hmm. way Ryan's running, and we know Karsten Warholm. Mm-hmm. He loved to take the race out and say, come catch me if you can. Mm-hmm. So could we see another world record? Yes. I expect to see a world record in the women's 400. I believe Sid can go below 50, yeah. 68. You know, she went to school, right? Who said she went to Kentucky? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, yeah you know, Edric Floyd was a coach. That, that's, well, she that's got me. Bobby Kersey. Now, we know Bobby Kersey. Hey, Bobby Kersey have him ready to run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you know, that's, and, my daughter, you know that's what my daughter at, right? She at Kentucky? Yeah, my daughter, yeah. She run track in Kentucky. But all those girls went there. Abby Steiner went to Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kenny Harrison went to Kentucky. Mm. Uh, Macho Quinn. Camacho Quinn. Uh, uh, JCQ um, went to Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Oh, they hey, they got them, you know. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they real deal. But uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Sidney McLaughlin. Ran to a lifetime <laughs> best in the 200 meters. That's not a Congratulations, special. Sid. Uh, 2207. Rod Benjamin went 46.64 in the four hurdles. Uh, like I said, I'm expecting world records. Uh, I think the world record in both events going to fall. 